Okay, quick video guys. I was doing my dips workout, you know, and uh, I thought maybe I should make a, like a tips for the beginners and you know how to work on your dips because this is one of the more complicated exercises in uh, calisthenics. So first of all, it would be good if you just work on your push-ups and make it be stronger, you know, and then move to the dips. But in the meantime, you still can work on it. Uh, what you're gonna do is, so this is a fit uh, portable gym I'm gonna be using now. And uh, the red band, the band you can use, which your band uh, actually helps you best. But don't forget that you don't want to make it too easy because you still want to progress and uh, for your body you need to create some sort of stress for it to adapt. So uh, I'm gonna use red band for the demonstration. How it would work so especially if you're a beginner and you can't do dips you probably just gonna try a few times and then leave it which is won't help you with the with uh, you know achieving it faster so we want you use the bands but do the proper workout with that so master the level you on even if your level is like a beginner beginner just master that level before you move to the harder uh, variation so use the band which all you need if it's purple yellow and no colors are different you know uh, depends where you buy it but uh, so yeah there is a two positions you need to work on and then repetitions yeah so what i would do that's my you know uh, personal training how how i would do you you can you know do it your way or maybe it's gonna help for somebody i'm just gonna show you you know um, so here I can just put it like that it's really helpful but you can hold it you can just hold it this way so put the band and what you want to do is you want to master this position here yeah even if it seems easy trust me if you hold properly for like 15 seconds you're gonna start shaking you know and you feel your muscles and don't lose it, don't, don't just drop down your shoulders, you know, you don't want to hold down your joints. You want to push out, arms straight, and then hold it for like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. If you can do hold longer than 15 seconds, you can move to other band for this position. And then do it for like five, you can do even more times, you know, as many as you want, as many as you feel like. And then uh, uh, if it's too easy, move to the lighter band. So let's do, let's say five repetitions, yeah? So you do 15 seconds hold, proper form, focus on that, focus on breathing as well. And then rest for about half a minute, half a minute to a minute, and do it five times, do it five times. And then after, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to go, if you need this uh, thicker band for this one, because this one's gonna be harder, you move to the thicker band, and then do do that. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go down and hold there for the same 15 seconds. Yeah. What I don't want you to do? Don't want to hang on your shoulders. Go about here, 90 degrees or a bit less, but engage everything and do it for like 15 seconds and then repeat. Then, so one time you can do five sets of straight arms, five sets of bended arms next time you can do one set of straight arms rest for a minute one set of bended arms rest for a minute one set of uh, straight arms one set of bent arms so uh, this will get that feeling of two different positions in dips it's gonna be easier for you to move to the repetitions so these holes are important yeah it's gonna make it much easier then the next thing is negatives now if you do the negatives, you still have to do reps, reps, reps. Like I said, master the level you're on. What I would do, if I can do just negatives, I would go one, yeah? Go down. You can implement the holds as well. So if you're doing just holds, you hold 15 seconds. If you do negatives, make it five second hold on each. So hold five seconds before you go into the dip go into the dip five seconds hold here and 
That's it, yeah? Rest 10 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds only. Go again. 5 second hold. Dip. 5 second hold. Go. So, master this. So, do like at least 10 reps. That's, we count as one set. You know, do 10 reps. We have 5 seconds rest in between one rep. Uh, and then rest about 2 minutes. Repeat it again. If you feel like you're gonna hold longer with that repetition, we're going down to the negative, do longer or move to the thinner band. <clears throat> and then when you start pushing out, same thing, master one rep. You don't need to go like, oh, I can push one, but maybe the second one and the third one might injure you because on the, uh, on the, the more you do, the uh, worse your form gets and you don't even realize it. But these are the reps, so master the one rep. So whenever you're ready, don't go too low. It's gonna be hard to put. Yeah, you have to control it, keep engaged, and then press, hold, done. Same thing. So, 10 reps or so. And sit. What's important to make it as a workout, not just to attempt, not as attempt, you know. So give it for like 20 minutes, even half an hour. If you do push day, you know, do some push ups, do these for like 20 minutes. So it's gonna be easier and easier. You will get that quick. And then eventually do the same thing without the bands, but don't rush it, okay? If you if you move without the band, start the same thing all over again. But don't forget you already progressed with no band. So even if you're going back into doing just a hold here and the hold here, you're already progressing. So just a matter of time, you will achieve the reps uh, after these workouts, you know. And uh, it might take a while, but if you make it into the workout, not just att do attempts like five minutes attempts. You will not only see progression, you will see, you will feel the strength increasing and, and your body changing even from these workouts because uh, if you're a beginner, you will definitely work. So yeah, that, that's what I would do, you know, and uh, of course, if you, if you can do repetitions with the band, uh, let's say you can do reps, but you still have to use the band. So what you can do, master that level so you want to make it sets of reps one one way is to do sets of reps so let's say uh five to ten sets of whichever reps you're comfortable with yeah so let's say if you can do comfortably 10 reps 10 reps with the band yes do five sets of 10 reps that's a one time workout yeah the next time what you're gonna do, so if you did five sets of 10 reps, so next time you're gonna go, you're gonna try a pyramid, yeah? It's gonna be less rest. So you do 10 reps, so 10 reps, rest. The rest is only 10 to 15 seconds. What you're gonna do next, you're gonna jump back on and do nine reps. Same again, 10 to 15 seconds. Eight reps, you know. And if you can't do, if, not, if the rest is not enough, try to chase it, you know. Maybe this workout you have to rest longer. Next time, try to do it with 15 seconds. Eventually, you might be able to do a five second rest and that's progression, you know. And uh, then after you can even try when you do five reps, yeah? We do five reps, two, three, four, five. We wait here for like 10 seconds, five to 10 seconds, yeah? You have to wait here. And then four reps. One, two, three, four. Yeah, wait again, 10 seconds. And then we're going to do three reps. One, two, three. And the same two and one, you know, and you can increase the number you're going down from. 
So six to one, seven to one, this uh, really helps. And then why these holds? Because these holds are important, it's strengthening your dip form, dip position, you know? So it's not just like, oh, I'm holding to rest. Not really, we're strengthening every variation. The same I'm, do same I'm doing with push-ups. Push-up is a, you have to use your core. That means it's a plank, it's a push strength, and it's a hold at the bottom. Master these three, and you'll master the push-ups. So that's why I had, said, let's say when I do my push-ups, I want to increase my number because I love to like going for the one set max, you know, and my plan is to do more than 1,500. So what I have to do to reach that, I have to train to be in the position for long because it takes at least one hour to get 1,300 or more. So separate, like one time, I'm just gonna hold, I'm gonna train to hold. I'm gonna hold there for like one hour, not moving, you know, just a push-up position. Next time, I'll hold the plank. The same thing, I'll put some push-ups in there. So I'll do push-ups, I'll go straight into plank after push-ups, I'll go back into push-ups again and repeat it as many times as I want, and not as I want as I need, <coughs> or as I can, probably as I can. <laughs> I don't need to do that, but as I can. And this will help me with the push-up, that's how I achieved, you know, from doing uh, 200 push-ups to go into 1,000 push-ups. If you just work on these, separate parts then put it together and then do the push-up set it's going to be much much stronger you know and it doesn't mean the pain goes away you still feel pain you still feel lactic acid and everything but your mindset knows that you can stay there for as long as you want because you did that with the plank hold you know uh, and let's say if i can rep push-ups with the plank in between if i can achieve like 800 push-ups with the plank so when i do only push-up set and i reach and i reach uh let's say 600 push-ups and it's painful it's like i know that i have strength and endurance to do 800 push-ups and a plank so that means i can still push because sometimes when you do th this kind of long set there is a point where you like you don't know if the feeling is bad or is it all right you know you feel like it might injure you, you don't know what's going to happen if you keep pushing so that's that's uh, that was a big obstacle for me to move from like 500 push-ups to a thousand because you just don't know if you now felt it it's just uh, yeah it's painful <laughs> and no one wants to risk injury <laughs> you know that's the thing yeah but about this I think if you can take any anything from what, from this and yeah I'm I'm happy to share uh, my way you know and. Uh, yeah, leave the comment if you find it any helpful. Peace.